What a fantastic bull run it has been for gold XAU USD. What we can see is that you know approximately from 1629 it just kept on rising up, and this actually looks like you know the previous bull run that we had around here. So the market continued to go up. We had a consolidation, a little bit of correction, and the market continued to rally for several months. This entire year so far has just been a bull run. And this is like, you know, once in a lifetime kind of thing, right? You know, because like, you know, after after this, there can be a consolidation period. What we can see is that, you know, the market has completed the month of November as a bearish candle, which presents us with several scenarios, like, you know, for bullish and bearish scenarios. So what we can do is we can go through them and we can plan ahead and see like, you know, where our trading opportunities may lie. And is it time for gold to have a deeper correction or not? Let's find out. Right, okay, welcome back to this analysis of Gold XAU USD. My name is Vic, I'm the founder of Vicenza Capital Management. Uh, you are most welcome here to join us on this analysis. Okay, so what we are going to do is just look at the previous structure for a bit because we want to look at what higher time frame has been doing. And this actually like you know gives us a better idea into macro analysis. So we'll always start with higher time frame to provide us with the macro um, analysis so that you know we get the full picture. We can clearly see that you know from here the market continued to go up, which looks like exactly like this, right? You know, and then we had a little bit of correction, then we had a period of consolidation, then we had a um, huge huge downward move now i'm always bullish on gold long term but i trade what i see right just remember that you know there's a difference if you are a physical if you are a buyer of physical gold like and if you like to hold gold then like many others do like you know thousands of people that do or millions of people do like you know they just buy and hold it forever they don't care about these things right because ultimately historically gold has always been bullish and then market started to go up and it created an all-time high then had a correction so if people think that you know gold is always bullish yes it is always bullish but it will also have like you know periods of corrections and these corrections can be big corrections they can be small corrections but there can be corrections here we had another correction after a bull run it's a bull run correction bull run correction bull run correction bull run and there can be a correction again and there can be a period of consolidation again remember i'm looking at the monthly time frame so what happened here for a few months right you know for approximately a year or maybe a bit more it just consolidated for a while similarly here it consolidated for a long period of time and then it broke out Okay, and that can happen again because remember, after consolidation, it's, it decides whether it wants to continue to go up, break out to the upside, or break out to the downside. Here it broke down to the downside, and here it broke out to the upside. So there can be a period of consolidation, and then we may get a chance to look into like, you no, know, okay, the market is probably going to go to downside or upside. So that is one of the possibilities and you never say no in the market because the market has been bullish That does not mean it will continue to stay bullish uh, There can be period of consolidation because there are only three states in the market market can go up market can go down Market can go sideways and you do not know the order of it right you know because the order can always be different market went up went sideways went up it can fall down or it can go sideways and then go up or it can go down so there are several scenarios anything can happen in the market so just open your mind to all the possibilities and you'll know so what we can see here is there is a pattern here and that is why i've been bearish on gold from here um, if you remember my previous analysis right you know um, which i've been posting about on twitter and linkedin and possibly on youtube as well is that you know the market actually has created a pattern uh, something like this Okay, this completed around here. The market gave us a little bit of correction here, but that did not actually work out. Then it created a bigger pattern and that got completed exactly right here. So this is the trend line that I was talking about. The market was supposed to take a correction from here. It did a little bit, but then market started to go higher. And in that, what happened here is it created another, um, another pattern here, another extended pattern which has completed into this fcp zone approximately around two uh, just under two two thousand seven hundred and that is the reason why with the market has started to show a little bit of correction okay and similar sort of pattern was around here what we can see is that you know the market came down and then we had 
this pattern and after that the market consolidated and went for a correction these patterns are repeatable they repeat themselves on different markets different time frames and i posted about this like you know, this is the similar sort of pattern which has developed on euro usa in between 2006 and 2008 so you, you do not like to you know, have to look that you know that there's a pattern which has to repeat on gold itself patterns repeat across markets across asset classes now if i go to the weekly time frame Sorry, before that, let's go to the monthly time frame itself because the month end has completed. Now, before we proceed any further, this is not the premium analysis. If you want the premium analysis, there is a separate service which I provide where I go in-depth analysis and provide better levels and all better scenarios. So if you are interested in ordering one of those, find a link in the description of this video. Um, you will look for premium analysis service or you can contact me on Telegram or you can drop me um, a message directly. Okay, so what we have is that, you know, the market try to go below close below the previous candles opening price why because that that would have like you know, indicated that this month the november month would have been like you no know, bearish engulfing i posted about this on linkedin make sure you follow me on linkedin and twitter because i sometimes like you know post it there i am not always posting on youtube i always i only post on youtube when it is absolutely necessary okay so the market if the if this candle was going to close below this previous uh, opening price then it would have been a bearish signal so what happened actually to confuse people and to induce the induce um, uh, consolidation the market started to go and close above this so it struggled a lot in the last few days of november but it it, it managed to actually close above which makes it like you no know, bearish month but at the same time it has been it is not a bearish engulfing candle so if i look at the weekly candle what has happened there was a huge move down and i've been able to capture majority of it like you know uh, let me show you uh, what i'm talking about i've been posting about this but uh, and uh, that, that's a separate thing so i'll come back to that analysis right now but this is this is also very very important you have to like you know look at this on october 13th i started to say like you know get ready why is that because when the when the media starts to hype something up especially like in you know, big media outlets right and here we have financial times right you know they were hyping it up that in the golden time for golden fans then we had all of these like you know i've been posting about this continuously that you know the warning is coming and it is about to take a correction and that is why i've been shorting gold here shorting gold um it was brilliant brilliant trades coming my way okay um because you know the bias right you know the market may go up may it may go sideways but because it has completed the pattern and also because the media is hyping up you have to look the other way investors are fair missing out on this this is october 30th and then i took a short from near about all-time high there were several uh, like you know it just continued to and fall down uh there was another shot which was taken from here because i've also provided the zone in the, my previous analysis by the way if you have not seen my previous analysis go and check that out these are all posted here on telegram on, on twitter and on telegram as well by the way telegram is also free so if you want to join a uh, vikinsa fx is the real one so it just kept on falling and then i gave a level here where i said like you know, okay 12 hour 2 sma 200 sma is the one where the market can come and bounce up and that's exactly where it went to my levels and since then it just kept on bouncing up it just started to go up and what i envisage target was also met on the weekly so i said okay uh, this particular short i'm going to like you know take partial on it and um, let the other one run then market started to jump up and because the market was um, going to jump up i said like you know in in our discord room here in our discord room i said okay two seven gold got to go to 2716 and 2740 okay so i was waiting for 27 2716 level to go for another short and this is exactly what happened the market started to go up went to 2716 which i gave you in the free analysis last week uh, like a few weeks ago a few uh, i think <laughs> three or four weeks ago and then from there it started to fall down once again so 242716 has been a very good level so you see what what is happening is that once you have like you know once you have found that what is you're going to be biased then you can look for uh, a trade in that direction and you just trust your analysis look at this the market has come back to the same zone 
right in the same level 2716 and fell down this is exactly what i've been trading right you know i've been following the same analysis which i presented then again i said like you know financial times are again but trying to pump this up that means like you know the market was going to um down go uh, go for a downward movement again and again i took a short and this turned out to be very good short to finish the month okay just continuity fall continuity fall and i took a partial profit on gold plunged 3.45 percent the biggest decline since june 17 2021 and where it started from it started from 2716 from there i was slightly late to enter but it started from 2716 so that's the power of having like no proper plan and proper analysis and this is like you know this is a skill which anybody can learn right this is this is easy um and this is another one uh, which which worked uh, perfectly fine. So this was like you know, the last one and I still have like another you know, partial trade from um, Partial short trade running from all-time high. So let's go back and look at the analysis now So you see this has been a very good trade. Um, this is where I said, okay The market could go bullish now this created a huge bullish engulfing candle Which means that market is bullish now here the market continued to fall down however it never actually it never did close below this level here okay this is very very important okay which means that market may go into consolidation or the market can actually look for a slightly bullish move why bullish move because the previous one was the engulfing bullish candle okay so what i'm going to do is actually i'll wait for the market to actually look for a good opportunity i will look for a long position however my long may not actually survive for a long period of time i will take the long position but i will not hold it for a long period of time why because we remember as i said the higher time frame pattern has been completed and the market may go into consolidation or it can go uh, like you know short that is more of a bias right you know however if the market gives me a long opportunity i will take it but i will not hold that for a long period of time okay my personal bias still remains like a you know, consolidation versus short until like you know something else happens and this is like you know what is happening so far the market was running going up in a channel and these are the two levels that i gave you Okay, based on the higher time frame pattern that I showed earlier. These are the levels which I presented in the previous analysis. These are not the premium analysis levels, but they are good enough. If you're doing string trading, if you want my premium analysis, I can give you better better levels um, uh, by doing in-depth analysis. And then the market started to fall down and then continue to go back up into this zone 2716 and then fall down. Now, remember this, this is like, you know, this is the one that I chart posted last week. 2632 is going to be more important level okay um once the market like and the market struggled around that so what we have there are two or three scenarios which are possible now one is that you know the market is creating a kind of like you know possible w pattern if that happens the market may come here it can come here and it can even go to all-time high before taking a correction okay or it can take a correction from here as well so this w pattern is a possibility so that is one of the scenarios we also have a gap left here right and remember what a gap is gap is like you know where the market has actually like you no know, not been able to travel through that price level which means that market can actually come to that level at some point in time in future we do not know when but it is going to come back to that level and close that gap there are two gaps one here one here which means that market is kind of like you know consolidating between them so far the market has not been able to close the bearish gaps it has just been closing bullish gaps because market has been bullish there are, there are hundreds of bearish gaps left on gold okay so at some point in time there can be a deeper correction but we do not know it's going to be this week or next month or next year or in 10 years we do not know but there will be something okay so just remember that but this gap is still there so if the market continues to go up like this we will have a w pattern or extended w pattern like this all time high okay it's, that is one of the scenarios other scenario is that you know we have we may have a smaller m sort of pattern here which can push the price down to this lower gap or even actually continue to go down okay and if it does that you know it can rise up from here here like in any of those levels or intermediate levels uh which are present on premium analysis so those those are the levels which uh th these this is like you now this m pattern can form if that happens then we will have a bigger m pattern like this okay you see in in a structure there can be multiple structures so we can have something like this and in here we can have a bigger m pattern as well so you see 
these are all the possibilities and these are these why we have like you no know, confusing possibilities is because the market has the market has done this it has not been able to go and close below the previous month's opening price if it was like you no know, bearish engulfing candle i would have like you know just taken my uh, my bias like you know, 100% towards the short side. But right now, because this is consolidating, I can take long positions, I can take short positions. And because of these scenarios, you can plan ahead. You can say, okay, if the market continues to do this, I'll do this. If the market continues to fall below this level, then I'll take a short. If it continues to go above this level, then I take a long. So this is how the trading should be done, right? You, know, you need to have zones and levels created in advance. And then after that, all you have to do is just simply go and wait for the confirmation around those areas. If you get a confirmation, you enter the trade with the risk management and get out at the right place. Okay? You do not have to predict. Okay? You do not have to predict like, you know, the gold has to go to like, you know, 2800 or like, you know, it has to go to 3000. Okay, if you are an investor, long-term trader, maybe you do. But most of us are not. Like, you know, if you are doing swing trading or so we are doing day trading for that, all you need is basically simple support and resistance levels. Basically, those levels which can act as support and resistance. I'm not talking about simple support and resistance. I'm talking about any levels which are support, which can act as support and resistance, whether they come from like, you know, FCP analysis or like you know, any other analysis. And once you have found those levels, all you have to do is just wait for the market to come to those levels, wait for the confirmation enter with enter with conviction and risk management and that's it that's all we got to do okay so this is what we have here on gold now let's look at it on um what envisage as well what envisage is a system which helps us in analysis and generating signals right you know entry and um, entry and exit signals um so we make use of it in fcp um, methodology uh, quite a little bit so if i look at the monthly candle as i said like you know the monthly candle is like you know it is not bearish engulfing as of yet uh i'm sorry it's not as of yet. like a you know, month has already closed so this is not bearish uh, candle at all bearish engulfing now this is the one i was talking about right you know the market has now given us like on on um, best mode we have this target of label here which is approximately 2400 but i'm not sure whether it is going to reach there because it can go into consolidation as i said if it starts to fall down and if it takes like you no know, the previous low then this becomes a possibility we are already bearish here because the color has changed to red okay which indicates that market is bearish now on the weekly on higher time frame it is still bullish because we have this water curve as well as blue if i look at the daily time frame the market has been going up and it has been getting stuck in this water curve which acts as a dynamic support and resistance this is the one i posted about on envisa signal that you know we had a good buy signal which gave us the target this target was met um on what and we saw telegram channel you can find it or you can check it out on the twitter if i look at the 12 hour time frame the 12 hour time frame is consolidating simply it's just like you know it's going sideways there is not much movement here so we'll have to see how the market opens and then we will get a better signal and better like no opportunities looking at the unbought and visage and also our fcp analysis so hopefully you found this analysis useful and if you did make sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel share it with other traders and trading communities and i'll see you in the next one by the way i'll post this chart in our telegram channel which is wikinsa fx you can find the link to that channel in the description of this video and i'll post this chart in there make sure you join there okay i'll see you in the next one have a great time thank you for watching find and follow us on these social media channels